from the wonders of watching someone live from the other side of the wall to the prophesying of the hurricanes and daily weather. Space technology has been influencing the lifestyle of a common man. Ever since the launch of the first satellite, nations have put their best efforts to benefit from this technology and its spin-offs. Space agencies were established throughout the globe to explore and exploit the limitless possibilities presented by the outer space. Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission SUPARCO is the National Space Agency of Pakistan. Soon after its inception, SUPARCO launched a series of sounding rockets in collaboration with NASA to study the atmosphere. Following that, SUPARCO developed and successfully placed in orbit two experimental satellites called Bada-1 and Bada-2. A significant landmark was achieved with the launch of Pakistan's first communication satellite, Parksat 1R, on 11 August 2011. Parksat 1R also carried nine different electronic units called CFIs, which were all indigenously designed and developed by Suparko. Building onto the heritage of indigenously designed CFIs, Suparko set in set on the course of achieving self-reliance in satellite development. Now, the focus was remote sensing. Remote sensing is like our eyes in the sky. It helps us see, predict and plan effectively for the future. After the 2005 earthquake and 2010 flood, services by Suparko proved to be instrumental in the rescue and relief operations. The realm of remote sensing applications further expanded to mapping, cataloging and analyzing natural resources, agriculture, disaster management, glaciology, forestry, urban planning and much more. Considering the significance of remote sensing for the socio-economic development of the country, Suparco decided to become self-sufficient in this domain. The development of two satellites was planned. One was Pakistan Remote Sensing Satellite PRSS-1 and the other one was Pakistan Technology Evaluation Satellite Pakhtays 1A. PRSS-1 was planned to be built in collaboration between Suparco and Chinese Space Agency to cater for the immediate remote sensing needs of the country. On the other hand, Pakhtays 1A was envisaged to be a completely indigenous project from concept to launch. It was meant to be a stepping stone for satellite development capacity building within limited resources. The design of the electronic units was finalized by the end of 2016 and the assembly was completed in February 2017. Now, it was time to test the functionality and strength of these units. Next was the testing of the payload telescope, which was conducted in April 2017. In May 2017, the complete qualification model was integrated and successfully tested. The qualification phase proved to be a tremendous success, but before the Sparkle team could catch their breath and rejoice, they had to gear up for the bigger task ahead, the flight model. The clock was ticking. The deadline was approaching. The work started in 24-hour shift, seven days a week. All the components were made ready to be put together by March 2018. After integration of the system, the satellite functionality was tested on ground. The stakes are high. A small mistake could cost you the entire project. The untiring efforts finally bore fruits. Pakhtay's 1A was just an idea, defying all odds, stood as a profound reality. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off. This is just the tangible beginning. A lot more has to be done. Suparco's success is our nation's success.
May Allah bless Pakistan and may we become the true masters of the final frontier.